I think Sarah's coming in here. Okay, I'm here. What? How you doing? Good. Where are kind of, you kind of, it's kind of dark up here. I haven't turned the lights on. Oh, turn on the light and look behind you. Why? Because I asked you to. Look over here. <gasps> You're home! When did he come home? Last week. I've been working on him. Of course, you know when I die, that becomes yours. Of course, it's yours already, correct? Oh, well, yeah. I don't know why you wound it out to start with. Because I wasn't using it, I needed, and I didn't have room for it. You weren't using it, but I love it. Okay. Well, we're getting some wheels for him. Where did those come in? I guess a couple of weeks. Wait, where did you get them from? I don't really know. He has, he has an American website, but I think they're coming out of Poland. I'm not really sure. You had something in Hawaii, didn't you? That's the controller for it. It, had, it, it got busted. You busted it? I did. How? I dropped cable on the floor while it's hooked up and fried the innards of it, so. Don't be mean to stuff. Well, that's something we have again. <laughs> He's back! Yes, that is the 8 inch Vixen. And those are hex wrenches those that I needed. Well, I just got those so I could take the head off the mount. I had to replace the batteries in the illuminator for it, which the batteries were not in good shape. Took quite a bit of work to uh, get it uh, fixed. That's the manuals and all that stuff. So you got it all back? Oh yeah. And uh... So she's mine again? Uh, for all intents and purposes, yes. Jim. And we are going to rig this up so that you won't have to freeze when we're outside. We can just roll it, uh, run it automatically via computer That's inside cheating. there. Well, you know. When I was 19, didn't know any better, I'd be out in the mosquitoes and stuff and like it. Now he's already hooked up. Little guy in the box you got, he's already on the scope right here. What that's, that's the Vixen Auto, uh, Vixen Starshoot Auto Guider. In the cute little box. Let's get some more light in here. Uh, now. That. Yes. <laughs> we may have it's to like do Christmas. We're going to teach you how to use this. So on that sad day when I assume room temperature, you'll be able to use it. Enough of that. Okay. It's already mine. What are you talking about? So that's all the eyepieces and stuff. So I didn't put a cap on. Uh, that cap is for the coma corrector, which is installed on the eyepiece bracket. That stays installed. You don't know. Wait, what? It's for the coma corrector. It fits on the bottom of the eyepiece the draw tube. It screws in and it stays there. We'll teach you about coma later on. That's okay. distortion on images around the sides of the front of the image view and the uh, whatever. That's a flashlight, a red flashlight, pointed at me. Yay! Can you now, give me a flight? You can't let me open something that has a flashlight in it and not expect me to turn it on. Uh, well, just a second. So this is the uh, first video on your channel. What channel? Um, Sarah's Astronomy Adventures on YouTube. Wait, what? Sarah's Astronomy Adventures on YouTube. I don't have a... Yeah, you do now. Okay. Yeah, if we do really good, we can get big endorsements and people say, we're taking great pictures, let's just send them free stuff. Which, of course, will go to you. You do know my life don't work like that, right? As for some people, it does. <laughs> some people also didn't have hurricanes on their first day of work, or right. got hit by a car on their first day of work, or... So give us your first name. Sarah. Okay. We'll make sure people know who you are. Anything else? I haven't got to the last box yet. Okay. I still don't know why you're doing it. Um, so we got the. Uh... You put this on YouTube. Yeah. Yes, it's going on YouTube. That's the loose little widgets and pieces and parts. Cables and. That's knobs. a mess. It is a mess. Well, if you will put this on YouTube, I'll share. Uh, it's a mess. It's just all the old cables and stuff. There's another one. 
that one's empty. That was the one the controller went in initially. A little hand widget thingy thingy with the little buttons and the little lights on it. Can we take it out now? Um, no, it's too late. Well, it's Friday night. Come I, on. I know. We don't have to drive and anything for it. And it was thundering a minute ago. Yeah, it was thundering a minute ago. Yes. But the bugs weren't out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not taking pictures anymore. The this, bugs caught, hauled me off. Well, we'll we'll get to that sometime. Also got you. Uh, of course, we left the uh, little push button thingy dingy for the uh, yeah. digital single lens reflex camera, which is over in the corner. The what? 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 Uh, there's the uh, camera. Yeah, I apologize for the poor lighting in here, but that's the that's the DSLR with the uh, find with the red dot finder on it. So I still have no clue what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. Camera. Camera, telescope. telescope, right. Camera, telescope. Now, do you remember all the material? Yeah. Now, you remember all the material you read in Burnham's Celestial Handbook? All I was three. I like twelve when I read that. Yeah, but you read all three volumes twice. And the tables. And the tables, including the astronomical data. Do I remember it? You, we will see. You remember probably the history and the mythology parts of it more than anything else. Yes. Yes. Just don't ask me to point out constellations these days. I can point them out, but I can't tell you their names. Right. Now, Sarah is in her, I think, second year of school now as a full-blown teacher. Third year? Third full year, okay. Third year. This is the beginning of the third year, but the first year online. Yep, because everybody's in COVID lockdown. <laughs> She's all. Well, why don't you take the cover off and look at the mirror? That's the little cover on that end over there. Right there, that's the mirror. Oh, uh, that's the hole where the light goes in. I wasn't for that yesterday. Well, I'm just not making any assumptions here. Okay. You probably should. No. Why? What got on the way? You can rotate. You can rotate it towards you a little bit. Okay, I'm asking. Did you get the mirror cleaned? Yes, I got the mirror cleaned. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. There's a dot. The dot, so you can get the mirror aligned. Man, it's been a long time since I've done this. And the little mirror at the top here, in the very front of it, that shoots the light out the side. That's called a secondary. Where the camera goes? It goes, the camera body clips, clips on to the eyepiece hole right there. It's, it's got the DSLR adapter on it right now. See, I'm not that clueless. I remember. So basically the telescope's I think like a big telephoto lens. It attaches the same way. Can I get it a sticker? If you could find any of those left 21 years after the fact. I, I wasn't talking about a Vixen sticker. What? I wasn't talking about a Vixen sticker. It didn't come with a scope. I got it from Japan and stuck it on there because I liked it. No, I wasn't talking about the Vixen sticker. It's going to get a new sticker. Okay. <laughs> Why not? I was you? thinking about repainting the tube from the base white, but I'm saying, eh. You know the 75th anniversary edition of Vixen? They're selling the scopes from Japan in red color, the original red, which I'm not really sure I like that or not. Well, it was the original. Of course you like it. <coughs> you like it. You want to buy me one. But you see the, uh, the Vixen dealer, they have a Vixen dealer in the United States. But what, are they believe, red? Believe, I don't know. A scope, one of these scopes is, a, is enough for anybody. Now we could get another Vixen scope, like a, a, a NCT made by Vixen. It'll fit on the, it'll fit on the uh, bracket down there, the, the, the uh, Vixen dovetail bracket, which is pretty much the industry standard. Now, I'm disappointed. Don't you ever roll this thing out again. I won't. Um, now, I'm very disappointed for one main reason. What? You've not named it. It's got a name. That's the brand. It's got a name. Okay. It's got a name. But I do name everything. They're like, 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 uh, but that's the last name. No, it's this. It'd be the first name followed by Vixen. No, it's just a Vixen. 
Now that is an Orion 50 millimeter guide scope with a star shoot auto guider on the back. Both of those, the star shoot auto guider was purchased second hand. That locked onto a star. Okay, you got to stop, rewind. What? Never mind. By the way, by the time you're done, you'll be having photographs on the Astronomy Picture of the Day website. Can I take another Lyra? Yes. Please? Yes. Okay. With telescope and camera? Yes. Okay. And if we get really good at the DSLR, we'll get a dedicated cool, a cooled astro camera. You right. mean you wouldn't buy me one of those anyway? Well, we got to learn how to use DSLR first. Baby steps. Baby that. steps. Remember the movie Contact? The girl's daughter says baby steps. Uh-huh. That's what I tell my first graders. Wait, I got kindergarten this year, too. Kindergarten and first graders. Right. Now and how, first year teachers. Now, how tall are you now? I am five foot one and three quarters. Okay. Five foot two. I claim five foot two. Now, the wheels, I mean, you got to admit, this scope's heavy. So wait, am I going to have to get a step stool again? Mm. Because that little thing has a habit of going way up there. Well, that's why you have tube rings. You loosen the clamps from the tube rings and then rotate it where you need to go. Without dropping it, right? That's you just loosen. That's the key. You just you got to have. That's the key. You got to have your hand on the back of the tube and then. Uh, wait, you do know how clumsy I am. Well, maybe you should ask Dad to help you with that part of it. Daddy, I need you to rotate the tube. Well, I did call you at 2 a.m. wanting photography help. Yeah, well, I was not being able to sleep, so. You had to sit like behind your back. That was my last major purchase before I bought that scope and then I met your mom. Oh, I bought that scope. I would have stuck with the scope. I bought that scope about two months before I met your mom and I married her. You would have saved some money. Yeah, probably, but I wouldn't have a family now. Yeah, you would definitely. And that's that's a classic green Vixen R two hundred SS on a great Polaris DX mount. Now the mat the, the counterweights got scuffed up really bad, and I painted them, but that's not a perfect. Oh, low power mode, close. Okay. Uh, we probably need to go ahead and wrap this up. Still not putting this on YouTube. Thing That's the polar axis scope in the back. I don't remember any of this. Well, the, you, you point the mount the North Star and then you look through the back end of it through a little telescope that's in the polar axis and you adjust the mount so it's roughly on Polaris because you're never going to be exact <coughs> and you'll get it to, <clears throat> probably not good to adjust the tubes so the mirror is pointing down. It's probably not. See? <laughs> Told ya. They really, that's a design flaw and they need to fix that. Just. Well, astronomy scopes are usually made to be pointing up at the sky, not at the earth. True. I'll give you that one. Okay. Just that one. That's all we get. Alright. But you did get the stuff off the inside. Yes. The, what was it? Tree sap. Somebody's under trees, have the tube pointed up, and all trees like that have a little drips. And I got the drips off the mirror. You, just you, don't, you don't clean a mirror unless you have to, and in this case, I had to clean it. I had to get that stuff off the coating. It's getting a sticker. Might end up with Put an uh, M7 Mass Effect sticker on the back. Actually, I was going to put the... Um, in seven what's it called sarah also likes mass effect chocolate uh, chocolate <laughs> um reese's peanut butter cups dr, dr. Pepper, pepper and harry potter amongst other things yeah, that pretty much sums it up yeah these days yeah I'm not, I'm not overly fond of work right okay now. so are you looking forward to your upcoming astro adventures Excellent. How old are you now? 27. Right. In a bit? Cool. What month is it? We've been in quarantine so this, long. This is August. Mid-August now. Okay, so almost 28. 28. Almost. 
Not quite there yet. And when I met you, you were seven. No, I was six and a half. Okay, well, something like that. We're not going to talk about that. Not on camera. Yeah. And your brother was a goo in diapers squirting at both ends. With the cookie out hanging out. Tonight. Yes. That's a dust cap. The whole thing? It comes off. This whole thing is a dust cap? No, just a little plastic <laughs> thing on. That wasn't what was coming off. You're unscrewing the lens from it's what you're doing. The dust cap pulls right off. Okay. That works. Now you know what a dust cap is for. To keep the dust off? You're so smart. I'm so proud of you. I teach kids. Yeah, okay. I just don't teach them to spell correctly. Okay, very good. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be a little worried. So why doesn't this have a cap? It fell off. I think it did. It should have a cap. I'll be moving it around. I didn't do it. Don't worry about it. Not look at the sun with the scope. Pretty much every scope you you see these days has that warning on. Well, that's not smart to do anyway. Well, if you like a hole burned through your head out the back, you know. I didn't claim people were smart. Right. I'm just saying that's not smart to do anyway. If you're going to put this on YouTube, don't look at the sun. Yeah. Through a telescope now, or the little black boxes on the mountain, there's two of them. Those were the motors. You have a polar axis motor uh, on the bottom and a declination motor next to the tube. Remember all these things. There will be a test at the end of this video. Well, do I get a study guide? Uh, sure. All right. I feel like we should be taking notes. This is the uh, introductory video, and we'll be uh, moving through the basics as we try to teach my hyper-intelligent daughter the basics of telescope use. Might be exactly Astrophotography, Mass Effect, and Harry Potter. We will not stay on topic at any time. This might be the quietest you ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs> what? Never mind. That was just a laugh you're making. Ah.